We'd look at Bundesliga, and we've got Radak, we've got Alex, and a couple of these I absolutely love, gentlemen. Radak, I'm going to come to you first. How was last weekend, and how did it treat you? Yeah, pretty good. I expected a lot of uh, expats and draws, and I think we found some with 2-2 uh, in the game between Leipzig and Gladbach, and uh, another one I forgot. Uh, I always look in the future and not in the past, so it was okay. Alex, you pleased with your, uh, your work last weekend in Bundesliga? I'm very, very pleased. I was expecting uh, more goals in that um, Hoffenheim-Leverkusen uh, game because uh, we, our banker, both uh, Radek and mine, were over three goals on the Asian handicap and the Hoffenheim uh, uh, pulled off the upset, uh, beating uh, Leverkusen 2-1. One more goal if uh, that was... Uh, it will be a great weekend. But it was a decent weekend with uh, some profit uh, and we are all glad uh, about that. Uh, and I think that uh, this round of fixtures is really, really nice. I think that uh, you are on the right spot when you're saying that you like this card. I really like it. I really like it. I'm going to have a, a little bit of a contribution into uh, having an opinion. But first of all, I'm going to look at the records. Uh, Rafa, can you stick up the Bundesliga record, please? OK, average price at 2.02, exactly the same, funnily enough, as the boys in La Liga. Profit at 10.1. Great stuff. Put on £100, you're over a <coughs> 1,000 up. OK, oh, did I just say pound? It's a long time since I've even mentioned pound. It's always <laughs> dollars or colonies. OK, Rafa, can I have the individual records, please? Alex says at 10, Radak 0.1, just got your nose above the water. Any sort of profit is decent profit. Might just be a milkshake for you just to cool you down in the hot <laughs> weather. OK, Radak, I'm going to come to you first because this is an absolutely cracking game. I've got both teams scoring. I've got an Alex Classic and it's Leverkusen 3.25, which is plus 225. Draw. 3.91 plus 291 and Dortmund at 2.21 plus 121. Radak, I can see a 2 2 draw. For sure, yeah. What else? Huh? Uh, at least uh, more than three goals, and that's my bet here as well uh, to bet on over 3.5 goals. The odds are not uh, that good, but around two, and I think uh, uh, around minus 100 in American odds. And I like this because we have two strong uh, teams. Uh, Leverkusen is even stronger than Dortmund, uh, maybe because Dortmund lost yesterday in the cup game against Bremen. And um, yeah, Leverkusen can uh, score anytime. And I know that Alex is a really huge Leverkusen fan, and especially of Kai Harvards. And so <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm curious what you bet this time, Alex. And I would bet on goals here because I, I don't see Dortmund to win and I, I don't want uh, to bet on Leverkusen. So, yeah. Thought you might have gone with a draw, Radak, at 3.91. Alex, I'm going to come to you because this is like your two nephews playing against each other. You love Leverkusen and you love Dortmund. I love Dortmund and I'm very sad to tell you that Marco Royce is out for four weeks. He will miss also the Champions League match against Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, he... He got injured against uh, Werder Bremen. I hate to say that. Uh, yeah, it was. I don't know what happened there, but uh, they will surely miss uh, Marco Reus. Uh, uh, and Leverkusen has a chance uh, here without Marco Reus because Marco Reus uh, is uh, keeping all the team uh, on top of his shoulders. You know, uh, I think that uh, he is the most important player in Dortmund. Haaland is back with a goal. I think that this guy um, scored every 17 minutes since his uh, transfer to Dortmund. He's a robot. He's a goal. He's an absolutely amazing striker. He's the type of uh, the Premier League uh, strikers, you know. Uh, um, built, very good, uh, very powerful, uh, great with the ball, great shots. Uh, and yeah, again, uh, I'm on the same bet with uh, Radek. This is what I hate when we are on the same bet. As I told you last week, uh, it was the same banker over three goals. 
Thank God that it wasn't a, a, a losing team. Thank God it was only a void. So, um, yeah, but I like also your approach, uh, the, the draw uh, in this one. Uh, a little bit with uh, that thinking that Leverkusen might pull off the upset and, uh, uh, and beat Dortmund uh, here. Yeah, I wouldn't put anyone off of Leverkusen. Draw no bet. I think you're probably going to get around 1.85, 1.9. But I think the Alex Classic's definitely in play as well. I think you just got to go with both teams are going to have a go. It's a great watch. I, I look forward to, to watching that game. All right, Radak. Freiburg 2.67, which is plus 167. The draw at 3.59, which is plus 259. And Hoffenheim 2.67 plus 167. Do you think this is a trap for Hoffenheim? Yeah. Mm, I don't think so, because uh, the trends are crossing each other. Hoffenheim uh, only lost one game in the last four games in the Bundesliga, uh, or five games in the Bundesliga, and Freiburg only managed to win one game in the last five games. And that's why Freiburg is tumbling down, and uh, they... Uh, come close to where they belong and they don't belong to the international play, uh, uh, slots and that's why I think um, they they have really problems. I think they lost 4-0 last week against Cologne and that's not very impressive but uh, Hoffenheim, um, yeah, I, I think they uh, are very overpriced here with 2.67 because they are in a better shape at the moment and they are a better team. And for this price, I would uh, even consider to bet on a Hoffenheim win, but I will uh, be a little bit shy about this and bet on Asian Handicap Zero on Hoffenheim, which is a uh, odds of 1.95 or um, minus 110 around. Okay, so you're going to go with minus... Is that, so that is draw no bet, is it, Alex? Uh, plus zero is yes. draw no bet, yes. Yeah, so draw no bet at plus point. Okay, I like that. I I just think that everything points towards a draw with this team. When you've got Hoffenheim, who on paper and on form are like, well, you'd think that they are superior, that they're 2.67 away from home. I'm thinking to myself, when you've got a home side and an away side, both are 2.67, they're pushing towards a draw. But then the draw is at 3.59 when you probably expect it to be around 3.1. So everything points to both teams to score and the draw. So look at 1-1. Um, but again, now we're cheering on Hoffenheim. So maybe get the 2-1 in. I think it's a trap, personally, at 2.67. Biggest game of the weekend. We thought Leverkusen Dortmund was an absolute stormer. You like your value. You wait for this one. Bayern, 1.42 minus 240, draw 5.8 plus 480. Leipzig, 7.0 plus 600. Alex, don't tell me that Leipzig are plus 600 outsiders in this game. Yeah, they are uh, um, the outsiders. Uh, not uh, The value is on them, of course. Uh, you don't expect the second team in the standings uh, with one point difference uh, to be at uh, plus 600 or uh, uh, 7.0 in uh, decimal odds. Um, if you give them an Asian handicap of uh, plus 1.5, for example, they are at 1.9. So minus 110 in, uh, in uh, US odds, which uh, looks good. But I prefer goals because uh, I really don't know um, uh, how uh, Bayer, if Bayer will uh, do that type of game to destroy their, uh, uh, their, um, their opponent. Uh, they are rolling right now. They are steamrolling all, all their opponents uh, uh, from the beginning of the second half of the season. Uh, and I think that we will see at least four goals. I see I see uh, Leipzig also contributing on the scoreboard here uh, because uh, they have an outstanding attacking firepower. So over 3.5 goals uh, in the match, again at 1.8 uh, uh, at minus 1 to 5 in uh, US odds. Uh, and I don't know. Yeah, that one, plus 1.5 for RB Leipzig looks good at 1.9. Yeah, or, or even if you went with Leipzig, 
double chance. I fancy you're going to be over the uh, plus 250 or maybe even plus 200. So I'll definitely look at Leipzig giving you all the value. And it might be an in play that when Leipzig are in front, if they're in front, you can cash out and uh, you've already got, you've got your profits. Radak. I'm going to go with you first because I know that I can then go and wind up uh, Alex afterwards. Werder Bremen at 2.09 plus 109, no value. Draw 3.76 plus 276. Union Berlin at 3.68 plus 268. Where are you going, Radak? Yeah, after Bremen because they won uh, the cup game against Dortmund and I think they must be confident and uh, self uh, must have confident uh, self confidential and um, I think uh, the odds over two is very good for Bremen here. Union Berlin is a kind of uh, yeah miracle. Um, they managed to play some really good games, but then on the other hand uh, did some really bad ones and I think. Uh, the victory in the cup was a, a win uh, Werder Bremen uh, needed so much and uh, I think Union Berlin is the right opponent at the right time to beat them at home for odds of 2.09 and American odds of plus 109 here. I would bet on Ber uh, the home win of uh, Bremen. I don't even know. I don't even know why you're nodding, Alex, because this is the biggest trap of the whole weekend in Europe. It on the back of a cup game where <laughs> Dortmund didn't give a monkeys. I think the Union Berlin. They go there. They frustrate, and I can see this being an absolute bore draw. But you're the expert. I'm just the host. Tell me why you're going for Werder Bremen. Uh, and I want to say to you that uh, uh, Borussia Dortmund wanted to win uh, that uh, no. cup match. Well, they, they they... <laughs> you can't trust Dortmund Imagine... anyway. Two bad teams. Im... <laughs> Imagine that they lost uh, Marco Royce in that match. Oh. What a, again? What a Fine. disappointing uh, thing. Fine. And uh, yes, I'm with Werder Bremen all the way here. And this is an important match in uh, this relegation battle. Um, yes, Union Berlin uh, are uh, how many points? Five points, six points uh, above the danger zone. But with the win here, Werder Bremen will escape that uh, territory, will uh, go out uh, from that territory. And uh, again, they will not drop the scissor, Flash, because I will have a, a futures on them, Flash. And uh, they looked very nice, uh, very good against the door. They have, they have players, they have a, a decent squad. They are not a team uh, uh, to, to go down. Uh, Union Berlin are a team to go down. Uh, in my opinion, Union Berlin will go down this season because they have Hertha next to them, which Hertha will finish in top 10, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, and uh, yes, Werder Bremen to win at 2.09 plus uh, 1.09. Uh, the problem with uh, uh, Werder Bremen is that they are like one of them typical English sides where no, everyone said they're too good to go down. The players are too good, but they don't play together. Yes, they've had injuries. Yes, they are for... feeling a little bit sorry for themselves and on their day, Listen, they are a side that probably could go majority of the way in a cup competition. But the closer it gets to the end of the season and they're still hovering in that bottom three or just above, then I, I feel for them. I really fear for them. Um, but obviously, that's the beauty of having futures. You want them to stay up and I want them to go down. So, uh, so <laughs> let's see how we go. Alex, I'm going to finish with you. Gladback at 1.71, which is minus 141. The draw at 4.3, which is plus 330. Then Clone, 5.0 plus 400. Looks like a home win, Alex. Yeah, it looks like a home win, but uh, again, FC Köln are uh, a tough, uh, tough side to play against. This is why I'm looking at an Alex Classic. I see Cologne, uh, Cologne uh, uh, finding the back of the net here against the uh, Gladbach side, who uh, kicked off the second half uh, to the to their season uh, very poor. Uh, <laughs> exactly how this is what happened also last year. We talked about it uh, also in the past.
they had the perfect first half to their season and a very poor second half to their season. This is what is happening also right now. It will be very tough for them to, to, to beat Cologne, uh, Cologne, a team uh, who are fighting uh, to avoid relegation. Uh, always really, really tough to play against such a team, you know. And uh, Köln showed uh, some great uh, uh, football uh, against Freiburg for zero. Uh, they lost the uh, 5-1 against Dortmund, it's true. But uh, they showed quality, even in that 5-0, 5-1 defeat, uh, they showed quality. So I think that uh, they will score against uh, Gladbach. So it really doesn't matter for me if uh, Gladbach uh, wins uh, when uh, the Alex Classic uh, catches at uh, 1.85 minus 118. Nice, we like that. Alex, can you give me a banker? Dortmund, Leverkusen Dortmund over 3.5 goals at uh, 2.0 plus 100. And I hope that uh, Radek will not go for the same one. Okay, Radek, <laughs> are you going for the same? Uh, I, I, I'm not really sure, but I vo uh, won't touch you, Bet. And I, I'm between Hoffenheim, Asian Handicap Zero and Bremen home win. Um, because Alex also bet on Bremen, I, I think I would take Bremen and prefer uh, them to have them as banker and two units on it. OK, all them people at home that have fallen off your chairs and off your couch, you did hear Bremen and banker in the same sentence. Radak will now be, uh, we'll get the medical team round to his house as quickly as possible <laughs> to make sure that he's not hallucinating and gone totally start raving bonkers. But I look forward to next week already. Um, just a quick one, gentlemen. We spoke to the boys from La Liga and we were talking about Real Madrid, uh, obviously at top of La Liga, but they're plus 1,600 for the Champions League. Do you think any of the German sides are value for the Champions League? Alex, you first. Do you think that uh, Real Madrid uh, at 2.63 are value for uh, uh, against uh, Manchester City? Yes, I do. I 100%. Me too. I'm, I'm actually going to I'm actually going to um, I'm going to put a few shekels on Real Madrid at uh, plus 1600 because if they get through that, if they get through that, they will be more than half that price. So for me, yes, I, I fancy I fancy Bayern Munich uh, um, going not all the way, but having a deep tournament. They have a chance to the title. They are one of the contenders. They will uh, not have many problems against the Chelsea, to be honest. And I I fancy them to win on the road against Chelsea, because uh, Chelsea are. Uh, are not doing uh, that well uh, this season and uh, uh, nobody will stop Lewandowski from scoring. They don't have uh, central backs to, to, to stop Lewandowski from scoring. And with the creativity from uh, Coutinho, uh, Kingsley Coman will be back uh, from injury. Uh, the wings are perfect for, uh, uh, for, ba for Bayern Munich. Uh, Perisic is also an important player right now uh, in uh, Munich. So I, I really think that uh, Bayern uh, is one of the contenders for the, for the title. OK, I really like him against Chelsea. I don't think that they are a contender because they let in too many goals. But Radak, do you fancy any of your home nation teams in the Champions League? Yes, um, Bayern Munich showed what they're capable of uh, after beating Tottenham 7-1. And after this game, I was pretty amazed and, and I thought, uh, who should beat them if they play every game like this? But they don't, uh, obviously, they can't. But um, I, I didn't see any better team uh, Europe-wide this season uh, as Bayern. Um, and I try to be objective. I don't watch every game, but um, Barcelona, who was my favorite before the season, struggled. Real Madrid struggled in the first uh, half of the season. Manchester City is beaten uh, away by Liverpool and Liverpool will break down um, someday because they can't win every game and they won't uh, defend the title for sure because uh, I think it's not uh, possible for Liverpool. And yeah, why shouldn't Bayern win the Champions League? This would be a really amazing story. But uh, yeah, I think uh, you never know. Um, I think they, they, they will struggle in the semi-finals uh, as they did uh, so many times in the past. 
But if everyone is in top form, everyone stays fit, and especially Robert Lewandowski will be there in a in an important game where he wasn't uh, the last seasons. Uh, so Bayern has a really good chance. But yeah. we will see. I I won't uh, tell you that that this is just a sure bet or or this, I really my safe opinion or something but I, I i didn't see a better team but i'm not sure that bayern uh, it's a long way to go yeah there is but this is where you get the value we spotted it last season obviously that's for another show but on everything i've heard i might double up me bet on real madrid um radak good luck at the weekend 